Halai? Halai. That's a new word. I made that up. Whoa. 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 Hey, hi, hello. My name's Christina. Welcome to my channel, Christina's Chapters. And today, we're going to be doing a reading vlog. So, I haven't read in a couple days. It's been a minute. Uh, I haven't read or really done anything in a couple days. I haven't been able to film. I had not the greatest weekend, honestly. A lot of stuff happened, and I just haven't really been in a reading mood, and I've been in a minor slump. So this week, we're going to try to beat that slump. That's the goal for the week, okay? <laughs> I am currently reading Daisy Jones and Six. I started this last week, and I'm currently on page 300... No, I'm not. On page 286, I'm very close to finishing this. I'm trying to finish this today is the goal, and hopefully then pick something else up. I do have options, if you guys can see. All of those that I have are just kind of options that I was looking at through my bookshelves yesterday. They looked appealing. But I do have some books that I have here that I got used. Let's go through them, shall we? Now, they are used. They're not going to be in, like, great condition, so it's fine. But they were very cheap. And that's all that matters when you have a book buying problem, okay? I already see the book I'm most excited for. There's so many. Oh my goodness. Okay. Once again, disclaimer. I don't know synopses, but I like these covers. Most of them at least, okay? So the first one is Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelus. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. This is in really great condition for the price that I paid for. I am excited for this book. One, it's beautiful, and I heard Olivia from Olivia Dream Dreams a Latte. No. I heard about this from Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte. She compared it to The Showman, The Greatest Showman. Haven't watched that movie, but it was very pretty. Ooh, it's even like, there's foiling right there, and beautiful foiling on the spine too. How are the chapters? Are the chapters short? Let's try to find out what, what the heck this is actually about together, shall we? In a city covered in ice and ruin, a group of magicians face off in a daring game of magical feats to find the next headliner of the Conquering Circus. Fame and glory await the winner, but no contestant is safe when an unseen danger begins striking behind the scenes. Accidents, injuries, missing magicians, though each act grows riskier, the show must go on, and the three entangled within the dark Heart of it will do whatever it takes to keep their secrets from rising to the surface. I don't want to read anymore. Because I like going to books pretty blind. But it's so pretty though. Like, it's just so pretty. It's prettier in person. Ugh! Okay, wait. I have a lot of books. I cannot be talking so much about them. So the next one is extremely out of my comfort zone. It's a little beat up, but it's okay. Um, It's a thriller. I don't read thrillers. But this baby was like four dollars okay it's one by <laughs> one by one by Ruth Ware I know nothing about this book other than the fact that Ruth Ware is known in the thriller world in the thriller genre I want to give thriller a couple chances so hopefully I can t I get to actually dive into this I don't want to know anything about this especially with thrillers I want to go in blind I do see a lot of people saying that a lot of the synopses have been spoilers a little bit so Let's see. I do have The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware currently out for my library, so I do really want to read that, so hopefully that comes about. Now, the next book, this book I'm excited about because it, it just, oh my god, it's pretty. American Royals by Catherine McGee. Know nothing about this book. I do know that it somehow contains royalty. That's all I needed to know to buy it. It didn't take much. It was great, <laughs> okay? Now, the next book is beautiful it's the hazelwood by melissa albert it's gorgeous holy crap it's gorgeous and i know nothing about this book i've seen it for a couple years oh damn girl you banged up how does that even happen to a book do you guys see that i mean i don't care it was like three dollars but i do care a little bit because i am gonna read this baby physically I'm going to have to fix that before I read it, because that's going to bother the heck out of me if I don't. How do you even do that? I don't know. Ooh, but it's pretty. Ooh, ooh, it's pretty. 
Um, I am excited. I know nothing about this book. Don't really want to know anything about this book. An original and imaginative fairy tale. Oh, fairy tale! Great, that's all I need. Now, this book, I've been eyeing at book of the month, but I actually got it cheaper. Haha! <laughs> that book is Wicked Fox by Cat Cho. I have heard so many people rave about this, especially Chloe from Chloe's books, Chloe with the books, Chloe's books, books and Chloe. Books and Chloe. It's books and Chloe. There you go. Took me a second, but I got there. I've heard her rave about this. I've also heard a whole bunch of other booktubers rave about this, especially people who love fantasy, and that's up my alley. So I'm excited to give this one a shot. And the next one. The next one I am probably the most excited and the most fearful about. That's Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I have wanted to try Brandon Sanderson. I wanted to start with this series. I do know this is a little bit more sci-fi-y than his other books, but I just really wanted to give him a go. I wanted to kind of just try him a little bit. Um, I don't know anything about this book. I don't want to. Sorry. <laughs> I'll link all these books down below. I'm going to hate myself for saying that, but I will link them all down below if you guys really want to check them out. This one, by the way, is also very, very beautiful. Um, but I don't know anything about this book. I do know people love this book. People rave about this book. People love Brandon Sanderson. Love him. I've never read a single one of his books. His books intimidate me a lot. <laughs> They're huge. This one obviously is not. All I know is that it's fantasy and I think sci-fi-y. I don't know. Sci-fi is not my genre, but it's okay. Damn, these letters are huge. All right, that's the little haul because I have a book buying problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God, books are heavy, man. I'm going to try to read as much as I can today. I want to hit 100 pages today. I think that's going to be my own, my own little personal goal. I'm going to try to hit 100 pages, um, hopefully. I definitely want to finish Daisy Jones and I want to start another book. I don't know which book it's going to be just yet, but it'll be a book. <laughs> All right. That's the mini haul. That's also the entry to this vlog, and I've been talking for 10 minutes. I'm going to hate myself for editing this, but it's okay. So stay tuned. Let's hope I can go ahead and just beat this reading slump because I really want to. I really want to read. I just have had no motivation to, so stay tuned. <laughs> Ooh, fireplace is on. Hold on. Hi. Hello. Uh, it's a little bit later on, on in Monday. In Monday? It's, uh, anyway, never mind. It's a little later on, and I have actually been reading a little bit. I'm almost done, like literally almost, almost done. I do not have that much left in this book. Let's see how much exactly. I have been listening to the audiobook. By the way, the audiobook for this book is amazing. Just absolutely amazing. So there's like 350 pages. I'm on page three. Oh, fuck, I have to do math. Let's not do the math. I have like 30-ish pages left. Literally not much at all. Almost done. I'm actually about to sit down now and just finish it in one go. I would film it, but my phone's dying and I need to charge it. So, sorry. But I'm going to finish this and then I have to clean the house up a little bit and then I have to make dinner. And then after that, I'm going to have to clean up after I make dinner. <laughs> uh, why did they tell us that being an adult was fun? Because it's not. It's just not. But I am going to just sit down now, finish this book, and then we're going to pick my next read. And I actually think I'm going to pick up an audio book. That way I can actually listen to while tidying up the house and stuff, um, as well as when I cook. But usually when I cook, I don't like to listen to audiobooks when I cook because I don't like to cook. <laughs> so I need like visual entertainment to distract me when cooking. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let me know if it does. Hi, I'm back. I finished it. <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. I'm torn between this one and Evelyn Hugo, but I really do think that I loved 
Daisy Jones as a character more than I loved Evelyn Hugo as a character. And I just love the whole interview style that Taylor Jenkins Reid did with both of them, but especially this one. Like, this, the format of this book was absolutely amazing. And at the end, it was also just so emotional. And the way all the characters, you kind of saw them grow, literally, with each other. Oh, God, it was just so immaculate. Honestly, Taylor Jenkins Reid is becoming one of my favorite authors ever. Like, absolutely ever. I want to read all of her backlisted works at this point. Everything she ever puts out, I want. I already have pre-ordered. Well, I haven't pre-ordered, but I already know I'm going to get Malibu Rising. I'm just hoping it comes in the book of the month because she already has two. I literally own both of them <laughs> that she has a book of the month. So I'm kind of hoping that book of the month is going to make Malibu Rising a pick so I can get it. That's the only reason I have not pre-ordered Malibu Rising because I'm assuming it might be a um, book of the month pick and I would love it to be a book of the month pick because that'd be fucking amazing. But I really want to read all of her previous works. But I have so much to do also. I don't know if I gave a rate, but five out of five stars without a single doubt in my mind. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to pick my... Um, audiobook that I'm going to start next. Uh, I have a couple options that I'm thinking about. Hope, hope, think, I think what I'm going to do is actually pick up the audiobook for The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. I've heard that this is an amazing audiobook. Um, so I'm probably going to start it, give it a try, and then I'll probably pick a physical read for me to pick up after I finish dinner and all that stuff. I have a lot of stuff to do. It's actually already like 7 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead, do everything, and then check back in with you guys later on tonight. I'm just happy I finally finished the book. It is the 12th day of April. And I have just finished my first book. I'm happy I finally have my first book. So we're conquering this reading slump. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, probably start The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. Uh, do some tidying up. I'm going to start dinner now. And I'll check back in with you guys later on tonight. Hopefully. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hello. So it's later on Monday. I literally just finished cooking and tidying up a little bit. But I think I'm going to sit down and I think I actually picked my reads. So I'm actually going to go with The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter and Actor Age Eve Brown. Um, I have read the other two of these books. They were amazing. Talia Hibbert can do no wrong. And I'm in a huge romance mood. And I read these super, super fast. So this is going to be my physical read. And I'm going to actually listen to this as well as read alongside it. Probably for the next couple days. Um, I'm excited. I think I'm actually going to just go ahead and sit down, relax, and start at your age. Eve Brown. And relax for the rest of the night. It is now 8.50. Uh, I did a lot of stuff. So... Then I didn't even start the audiobook though, so that was fun. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and start these two books. I'll probably end up checking back in tomorrow morning. I don't think I'm gonna check in anymore tonight. But if I have more, I'll let you guys know. But it is getting pretty late, so I think we are gonna head to bed soon. Um, but yeah, I'll probably end up seeing you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> Bye. Hi. Hey, good morning. It's Tuesday. Um, I did not end up updating the vlog last night. I just, we got tired. <laughs> but I did read a little bit. I didn't get that far into actor A.G. Brown. I got up to page 17. But I will say, I am already loving this. I'm about to start reading now. Um, and I am in a reading mood again. So I think this is actually helping. I think we are beating the slump real quick. I do already have my cup of coffee. Also have my fireplace going right there hopefully you can see that because I can see and I am going to just read for a little bit because then I have to start getting ready because I'm going to film still deciding on which video to film but I think I know which video I'm going to film but I'm gonna have to get ready I'm just gonna brush my hair and I think call it a day I don't even think I'm doing makeup at all I don't really feel like it <laughs> let me put some mascara on to call it like even but I just cannot be bothered with my makeup on sorry um but i am going to read now and i'll catch you guys probably i'm only gonna read for a little bit because i do have to get ready so i can start actually filming this video but i think i'm only gonna read for a good like 20 ish or so minutes so i'll check back in uh, when i've actually made more progress in this
Hey, hi, hello. It's Tuesday? Tuesday. I was about to say Wednesday. Ooh, nope. It is Tuesday. It's currently almost 9.30. Um, I'm very tired, but um, I have not made any progress in Act Your Age, Eve Brown. I just haven't had time to physically read, and I'm physically reading this book. Uh, I'm still only 25 pages in. I think I updated you on this already this morning, but I did start... I don't know if I told you guys about this or not. I can't remember if I did or didn't, but I started the um, audiobook for The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter, and I'm loving this. I just, oh my god, the characters are so witty and so funny, and I love how they just break the fourth wall, and the author is consistently talking to you, and it's just so funny. Um, so currently, I believe I'm on chapter five just page 76 so I've read a little bit of this book and I want to continue it so I love audiobooks I don't know what it is about a audiobook for some apparent reason at least for me audiobooks make me want to be productive like I can't just sit down and do something like just sit down and listen to an audio I like to do something while listening to an audio for example today when I got home I tidied up the house I also washed the dishes and cleaned up the kitchen a little bit and clean up our bedroom and I listened to a whole bunch of this book and then I wanted to just kind of kind of continue it so then I sat down for like 15 minutes and just continued reading it alongside listening to the audiobook because the audiobook for this book by the way is absolutely amazing highly recommend it but I think I'm actually going to just stick to this for the rest of the night I'm currently making some food for my boyfriend to eat so that's fun you make me feel so awkward <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm actually going to just go ahead and continue reading this for the rest of the night. I really am enjoying this, and I really don't actually want to put it down, so it's uh, a fun time. I will probably check back in with you guys most likely tomorrow uh, with some more updates. I should be editing right now, but I really don't want to. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll check back in probably tomorrow with some more updates on either this or actually A.G. Brown. Who knows? We shall find out. Hi, hello, it's Thursday, it's like 6.30, but um, I wanted to update you guys because I didn't really update you guys yesterday. Um, I have been reading a little bit, nothing crazy, but um, let's give some updates. So, Act Your Age, Eve Brown, I have not made much progress in this, but I do want to read a little bit more. I'm up to page 41. I am still very much enjoying this, but I don't really have that many thoughts on it. Hopefully I have some more by the end of the day. But The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter, on the other hand, I am on page 143 and loving it <laughs> so much. The audiobook for this, too, by the way, is so good. Like, the characters, the narrator is also really, really, really good in the audiobook. I'm very much enjoying this story. I love the whole, like, premise behind it. Like, it's kind of like a, um, it's a murder mystery. And it's really good, and I'm not usually into that type of stuff, so I'm intrigued. Um, I love Sherlock Holmes' character. I love Mary Jekyll as a character. I also love Diane Hyde as a character. Love all of them so, so much. I also love how they're constantly breaking the fourth wall and talking to you, and it's so funny, and I'm having a blast reading it. Hence why I've made more progress in this than I have in Actor G. Brown. But I'm going to actually continue making some progress in this. I'm going to listen to it as I actually make some food. And I don't want to cook. Uh, hopefully I make some more progress and I can update you guys in a little bit. You know. Hi, it's Friday. So I'm here to give you guys a little update because, shocker, I've actually been reading. So I've made decent progress in both Actor A.G. Brown and The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. I will say I'm loving both these books so very much. I cannot get over it. I'm loving everything about everything right now, so let's get into some more thoughts, shall we? So, as far as Act J. H. Eve Brown, I'm loving this book. It's um, starting to really get into the romance right now. I am, how far in now? I am on page 136, so I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving, just the banter between Eve and Jacob is so freaking funny. Um, I love Eve as a character. She's probably one of, 
I am loving her a lot. I don't know if I like her more than Danny Brown. I do already like her more than Chloe Brown, but we shall find out who my favorite bronzes will be after reading this. I am loving this already. I'm over the moon happy with the choice I made to read this book right now. It's definitely helping the slump. I don't want to ever put it down. My arm's getting very tired. Hold on. Let me try to move you. Now you can see me. <laughs> so let's actually get into more updates by these books. So, as I was saying, actor H. Eve Brown has been so, so good. Her and Jacob are starting to, you know, things are starting to happen. Things are starting to happen. I currently just finished reading the scene where she fell into the pond. If you've read the book, then you know. <laughs> um, but I am already loving the banter between these two characters. I think it's done so, so well. Talia Hibbert just knows how to write such likable characters. Like, Jacob is supposed to be an unlikable character, but he's still so likable. Like, I don't know how she does that, but she does it very, very well. Um, I'm so happy with reading this book. I cannot recommend this series enough to people. I haven't even finished reading this book, but I know it's going to be a 5 out of 5 stars. And I'm excited to see where else it goes. I also know things are about to get steamy. Like, I know, I know Talia Hibbert is going to deliver with this steam. And I am here for it, okay? Let's change case to the alchemist's daughter. I'm loving this so much. I can't get over it. I can't stop thinking about it. I think it's just, oh my god, it's so good. It is just so, so good. Like, the characters in this book, once again, are amazing. I am a very character-driven reader, so if the characters are great, I'm most likely going to love it. It's really good. It's so good. It's so, so good. Like, I can't even describe how good it is, but it just is good. So yesterday, I got up to page 180. Um, so I'm, a little, I'm almost halfway done with this book. I'm hoping to make progress in both these books and hopefully able to finish both of these by tomorrow. I do have the audiobook. For both of these actually um but i'm mainly listening to the audio of the strange case like miss daughter and i'm reading this mostly physically i do have the audiobook i did listen to the audiobook as i was getting ready because i'm about to start filming but um i also love the audiobook i did listen to we take a hit danny brown and really enjoy the audiobook so i did see that this actually popped up on script i didn't even know it was on script um, I just saw that it popped up, so I did go ahead and just start listening to wherever I left off yesterday, because I left off on chapter 7 yesterday. So I left off on, uh, page 89, and I was able to listen up to page 136. I did spend some time getting ready, so there was a little chunk. I do listen to audiobooks on double speed, so that's just normal rate for me. I can't usually listen to an audiobook slower than that. And these both have British narrators. <laughs> These both actually have British narrators, and usually with the British narrator, you just have to listen on a little slower with speed just to kind of understand. But both of these narrators are great and very, very clear, and you're able to understand them perfectly fine. That's pretty much the update for now. I do work till about 7-ish tonight, so my late days, I do get to listen to my audiobooks a little bit more later on because I do a lot of like miscellaneous paperwork. So hopefully I could pop one of these in. Honestly, I'm liking the um, audiobook for this one a lot. And I'm loving listening to the audio and reading alongside this. So I might actually save this for later and listen to actor A.G. Brown at work. So I think that's going to be the plan. Actually, I almost forgot to mention, I started a new book yesterday. <laughs> I saw this book and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start it. My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. I picked it up. I'm literally eight pages in. I read the first chapter. Enjoyed it. Didn't hate it. I'm probably going to continue it. I'm not going to finish it during this vlog. I'll probably film another vlog with me reading this. I don't know yet, but the reason I actually picked this up was because of Jan. You guys know that I love me some Jan. Um, she recommended that as a great thriller for me to get into. If you guys don't know, I do not read thrillers. I am trying to get into thrillers and I'm making my way through. Making my way downtown. I don't know the words. I just know that. That's how I know. Um, I am going to mainly be focusing on these two books and then kind of this book. This is actually a library book. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell, but yes. So, I don't think I'm going to use that as a thumbnail, but all you see is mess in the back and I don't even want to use that, honestly. Okay. 
so I'll check back in hopefully with you guys a lot later and hopefully I make a good chunk into this book because I do want to actually listen to a lot of it today so I'm excited actually so I'll see you guys in a bit bye hi good morning it's Saturday I forgot to update you guys last night sorry um I got home a little late last night and honestly I was reading a lot and then life happened but I was still reading a lot <laughs> so I don't remember where I left off I believe I was on chapter 9 before I left the house yesterday okay so I was on page 136 and I got up to page 259 so I read quite a bit yesterday I will say I am loving the audiobook so much. I am flying through this because of the audiobook, but oh my god. I think I'm loving this more than Danny Brown and Chloe Brown. I could not stop dying on my way home yesterday. Literally, on my way home yesterday, I was listening to the audiobook and I was like cracking up. Not just like a giggle. No, I mean, like, legitimately laughing my ass off. I was dying in the car. I didn't want to put the put the book down at all. It was, oh my god, it was so good. I fell asleep reading last night. I don't remember where I left off. I'm somewhere in chapter 16. Like, I'm probably a little further than where I told you, but I can't remember exactly where. Because I didn't put my bookmark in, nor did I actually tap the page or anything. I just closed the book and put it on my nightstand. Like a dummy. But it's fine. I do plan on finishing this today. I have a lot of things going on today. Today is the 17th. Kind of crazy, okay? Um, I have already made my to-do list for the day. To-do list for the day. There's a lot going on today, okay? <laughs> Like, a lot. There's a lot of bullet points. There's a lot going on. But it is aesthetically pleasing. So, that's fun. I'm about to go do my laundry right now and get some coffee and some food. I'm feeling for Starbucks today, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And my nail keeps getting trapped in my hair, so that's not fun. But, what's very exciting is I'm on a live show today that I'm kind of freaking out about right now. So... I'm freaking out just a little bit just just a little bit I I I don't know I was fine up until I just realized I'm on a live show with people that are gonna watch me live that I can't edit out wow <laughs> so the goal is to finish this before the live show and then on the live show I'm probably gonna end up reading the Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter and My Lovely Wife. Probably going back and forth. Um, but, yeah. I don't know yet. We'll kind of figure it out. We'll find out. It's fine. So, plans for the day. I'm going to go now, get some Starbucks, get some coffee, get some food. I'm feeling a croissant right now. And then I'm going to go put my laundry in the wash, come home, do some cleaning. Because that's literally this entire to-do is cleaning. Okay? Just cleaning. Clean the house, get everything organized, and I'll check back in with you guys when I finish E. Brown, okay? Promise I'm going to finish this book today. Manifesting it into existence, okay, people? I'll see you guys in a bit. Coffee's acquired, laundry's in the wash. Let's clean this house now, shall we?
it's Sunday morning. I did not update the vlog at all yesterday, but um, I do have some updates to tell you guys. But first, I want to tell you guys I'm doing a m like an impromptu type of 24-hour readathon today. Um, it's Sunday the 18th, I believe, and literally, it's nothing official. I'm not staying up for 24 hours. It's literally just I'm going to read as much as I can from the time that I wake up. Till the time that I go to sleep. Um, I believe uh, it's going to be me, Jan, possibly Hannah, and Renee may join too. I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, we were talking about it in the group chat yesterday. Uh, I know that I really want to, so even if no one else participates, I'm going to probably do it. Um, I think Jan really wants to read today too, like an impromptu type of 24-hour readathon. So I think that's the plan. I'm also making coffee in the back, so sorry if you can hear that. But yes, so let's go ahead and give some updates, shall we? So I actually went ahead and finished Actor Age Eve Brown. I gave it five out of five stars. It was absolutely amazing. Um, it's I think it is my favorite out of the three. It just made me laugh so much more than the other two did. Eve was a funny character. I loved her and Jacob together. I loved their banter together. That was my favorite part of the entire thing. Like, I could not get enough of those two. Um, it made me super duper happy. I, I had a blast reading that book. Absolute blast reading that book. So I cannot wait to just read today. I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I have planned to read today, if I'm being honest with you. I think I'm going to just read as much as I can. I don't have any legitimate plans. I'm just going to pick up what I want to pick up and call it a day. So currently, I'm in the middle of a couple books. <laughs> Shocker. But I think I'm going to focus on The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. And Jan may or may not pick up Bunny today. And if she does pick up Bunny today, I probably will pick it up because I really do want to read Bunny. Bunny's also very short, so I'm pretty sure it's manageable for a 24-hour readathon. I did not update the vlog at all yesterday. I literally just woke up and gave you guys that one update. I did tell you guys I was going to update you when I updated. When I finished. <laughs> uh eve brown and i finished eve brown during the uh sprints um over at jan's channel that i was a part of thank you again jan for having me on your channel that was so much fun it was a blast um i also read so so much and i i had the time of my life there so that was so much fun if you guys haven't checked it out it's on jan's channel i'll link it in the description but it was a lot of fun i actually do have to edit a video so i can upload it today but um, it's a sit down video. I don't think it'll take me that long to edit the way my vlogs do. So, book browsing vlog, better known as Maddie or book browsing vlog. I don't know. She's having her pro productivity sprints right now. So, I'm actually going to do these now. I am going to read for these sprints and then. I might edit and read for the next sprints. I don't know yet, but I'm going to go back and forth between reading and editing. But right now, I just really, really want to read. So this is plan. I also do not, do not even have the light on, but I have a lot of natural sunlight in my apartment. So let's go and read and just have a fun day today. Um, I'll try to update you guys as much as I can. my mic in so I don't actually know if I'm gonna keep this but I'm currently on my roof and it's gorgeous outside like it's really nice outside and I've been reading a little bit I started bunny I'm currently on page 40 um I don't really know what's happening so I don't really have any thoughts I'm still kind of trying to figure it out but I mean so far I'm not hating it so I guess we'll kind of just see but anyway yeah so I started bunny and I am enjoying it I think I'm going to continue bunny 
Um, so this is going to be my physical read, and then I'm going to probably listen to The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter while I'm doing other stuff. I would like to finish this, but I don't really think that's um, realistic, but we'll see. Um, if I don't finish a book during this, like, impromptu readathon, I'm okay with it. It doesn't really bother me all that much. Like, I just really want to read as much as I can today. It's just what I'm in the mood for. Um, and I'm happy. It's also a beautiful day, and I'm just relaxing on my roof. And yeah, it is starting to get a little cold out, so I might actually go inside a little bit. But I just want to finish this chapter. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's really it. I just really wanted to update you guys because I did start bunny. So I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> What is going on? So I just reached part two, page 120. And things happened. I can't explain to you what those things are. But, so I think I just, okay. So I was at the part where they were in the workshop at Kira's house. So not like the workshop that they, you know go to class and no, it's like another workshop that was at Kira's house and um what is going on in this book I can't even describe to you what this book's about because I don't even know and I'm like almost halfway through this book what is going on I will say that even though I have no idea what the heck is happening I haven't been actually able to put it down but like I'm also annoyed and weirded out like, oh my god, them calling each other bunny is too much. I can't handle that. That annoys me. I, like, skim those parts when they're like, bunny this, bunny that, but you're so good, bunny this and this. Oh my god, I skim those parts because I just can't handle it. <laughs> but I have no clue as to what's going on. If there's a plot, I can't tell you what it is because I don't freaking know. Just weird shit is going down. Just weird shit is going down. Like, I can't, I can't even, like... I would love to say it, but I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to, but, like, what is going on in this book? I can't begin to understand. Like, I don't know my feelings on this book. I don't know how I feel toward it. I don't know if I'm liking it or not. Like, that's how hard this is. Like, because I can't put two and two together. At the same time, I can't put it down. So it's like, yeah, I'm confused, but I keep reading it. <laughs> so I don't know what's happening. I don't know even how to describe it. I don't know. I'm confused. That's that's all. Like, my thoughts are just, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Like, every single page, I'm here like, what the hell? Like, what? What? Like, I can't even. I can't. I don't know if my brain can take it, but I'm going to keep reading. I would like to finish this. I don't think I'll be able to finish it today, but... I'll um I'll read as much if I can as much of it as I can before I go to bed. But like what the fuck? <laughs> That's my thought process. Hi, it's the next day. It's literally Monday. It's like four o'clock right now. I literally had to go and get another Starbucks because I needed it. And I don't know why, but the Starbucks where I live. Every time I go there after work, the coffee is so good. Mm. It's A1 today. But, I'm here to wrap up the vlog. I, yesterday was a day. I'm going to go through everything, but yesterday I literally, let's start this over because I can't get my words together apparently. So yesterday was a success in itself okay so the reason I wanted to do the 24-hour readathon spontaneous impromptu type of readathon yesterday that was really a readathon is just because I wanted to get out of a slump that was the point of this week and I did it so I'm actually going to go through all of the books that I actually mentioned in this video this week and give you guys all of my updates on them 
and then I'll kind of sum everything up at the very end, okay? So the very first book I finished, I actually finished on Monday, and that was Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Loved this book. It was so good. The audiobook for it was amazing. I loved every single part of this book. It was five out of five stars. Loved it. The other book I finished on Saturday was Active A.G. Brown. Now, I loved this story. I This is my favorite out of all three. Um, I cannot get enough of Eve. I loved Eve and Jacob. I just loved every second of it. Honestly, I think that they were so cute. I loved Eve and... Eve was her own just, like, badass type of moment, you know? Like, she was great. Loved this book. Also, five out of five stars. Then, on last Monday or Tuesday or something, I started The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. I listened to this mostly via audiobook and got a little about halfway through. I made it to page 205. Still really much enjoying this. I plan on actually finishing this hopefully this week, so you should see that in an upcoming vlog. But I am still enjoying this. I'm very much liking it, and I just kind of can't wait to see what, what where this goes. I can't speak today, apparently. And yesterday, as you guys may have seen, I started Bunny. Did I finish Bunny? No, but I got damn close, okay? I read a lot. And the point... So, okay, I got up to page... 185. And this book has about, like, 300 pages flat. So, I read over half of this. I, together with how much I read of this and this yesterday, I read a total of about 200 pages. Now, I haven't done that in a very long time. And this week, I finished two books. These are the only two books I finished in the entire month of April, okay? So the fact that I finished two books in one week and the fact that I haven't even finished a book in like two weeks. So, I think we were successful in this type of vlog but yesterday really did kick it yesterday literally kicked my reading mood could not put this book down thoughts so far in this book i don't have any because i don't know what the heck's going on <laughs> i'm confused this is the weirdest book i've ever read in my life <laughs> i can't even fathom what is possibly going on but i can't wait to finish it i can't wait to actually see where it goes i have heard from hannah Hannah and I have been talking a lot about Bunny because she's the only person that I know that's read this and she's like it's weird trust me it gets even weirder and you don't get any answers she literally told me that I don't get any answers to anything but I still need to read it <laughs> um so when I do finish this it, it's definitely going to be in the next vlog so stay tuned for that hopefully that'll come out next week so thankfully um but can't wait to get into these read two five stars like come on i think it's a, su a successful week so i did what i wanted to accomplish which was to beat the slump i was in i was in a very bad slump for the month of april and i'm happy that i actually read something okay and i did what i wanted to do yesterday you know i don't care that i didn't finish a book yesterday i never actually intended to finish a book yesterday i just wanted to read as much as i could and i did i read about 30 or so pages of this and 185 pages of bunny so i call that a successful day because i haven't done that in a very long time so that's the video everyone thank you all so much for watching uh if you want to see some more content uh please subscribe to my channel please like and comment if you like this video and i'll see you guys soon in a video coming soon bye